End-to-end -end tests are a nightmare. They're one of my least favorite things to work on when I'm doing front-end or full-stack work. I normally use Superbase for my backend and Playwright for my end-to-end -end testing, and I was getting fed up of writing custom functions to create and tear down database records during my test. Tests will often need dummy data such as user accounts, transaction records, etc, etc, and can also create records during the test runs themselves. The biggest challenge is tracking these records that are created during the test, which is why I created Superwrite, the end-to-end -end test harness for Superbase and Playwright. This video serves as an introduction to Superwrite's capabilities, so buckle up and let's go Super Saiyan! Superwrite is a Playwright test harness for end-to-end -end testing with Superbase. It can create database records for you and will clean up after itself when the test exits. It will create records recursively based on foreign key constraints and will automatically discover any related records that were not created by Superwrite and delete them as well. To get set up, install Superwrite with your favorite package manager. You'll then, unfortunately, have to make some alterations to Superbase's generated TypeScript types. We need a type and not an interface, so change the declaration wherever you keep yours. This is typically database.ts. I recommend setting up a make target or similar to automatically make this change for you whenever you update your types. Then, in your test file, create a test function using the with superwrite factory. You'll use this instead of the test function that Playwright provides. In this example, we're telling superwrite that we care about the public and other schemas in the database. Make sure you expose these schemas so the superbase client can access them. You can now write tests and use the superwrite fixture to recursively create database tables. We'll use a table structure with two tables, user and session, where session has a foreign key to user. If you use Superwrite to create a session, it will automatically create a user for you, and you can access the user's ID in the session's user ID column. Superwrite will also automatically generate fake data for any columns that are not nullable and do not have a default value. You can optionally pass a data object as the second argument to the create function to override the fake data that is generated. If you pass in data for a foreign key column, Superwrite will not create a record for that table. If your table is in the public schema, you can omit the schema name. When the test exits, Superwrite will automatically clean up all the records it's created and will inspect foreign key constraints to delete records in the correct order. It will also discover any additional records in the database that were not created by Superwrite, and will delete them as well, provided they have a foreign key relationship with a record that was created by Superwrite. And this all runs recursively. Look at this example, where we're using the Superbase client to create two session rows. Since Superwrite isn't aware of these records, we can use them to emulate sessions created by the front end during the course of the test. And if we check our database after the fact, you can see that the sessions have both been deleted. Success! If you want to use custom functions to generate fake data or create records, you can pass optional config as the second argument to the with superwrite function. The generators object is a record of Postgres types to functions that return a value of that type. Superwrite will use these functions to generate fake data for any columns that are not nullable and do not have a default value. Fun fact, the default value for you being subscribed is false, and you wouldn't want to keep it that way, right? If you're using user-defined types like enums, specify the user-defined type name in the generators object. The override object is a record of schema names to a record of table names to functions that return a record of column names to values. Superwrite can use these functions to create records in the database. These need to return an array of fixture objects which Superwrite will use to record the rows you've created. This is mostly useful if you use a database trigger to populate certain tables and need to run custom code to activate the trigger. By default, Superwrite will look for the Superbase URL and Superbase service role key environment variables to connect to your Superbase instance. You can override these using the Superbase key in the config object. Superwrite also needs access to the Postgres database for schema inspection and will use the default Superbase local database. If you'd like to override this, provide a database key in the config object. Superbase is really cool and Superwrite makes testing so much easier. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Oh, and by the way, I'm currently hiring. So, if you'd like to come and work with Superbase and SvelteKit in a production setting in central London, take a look at the job ad in the description. Or if you're curious about why you should care so much about writing SQL in the first place, why not take a look at this video here?